how to use ChatGPT to write an essay with citation. Hello guys and welcome to this tutorial on how to use ChatGPT to write an essay with citation. ChatGPT is a powerful AI language model that can assist you in generating high quality text with ease. In this tutorial, we'll show you how to use ChatGPT to write an essay that includes proper citations, ensuring that your work is both informative and credible. By the end of this tutorial, you'll have a good understanding of how to use ChatGPT to streamline your essay writing process and improve quality of your work. So let's get started. Now before we start, of course, we're going to need to create an OpenAI account to continue. So I'm going to teach you how you can create an account first. We're going to click on sign up over here. And then over here, you can either create an account through an email address or with Google or Microsoft. You can choose any of this option. Now, after choosing an email, you're simply going to provide your first name, last name, and then your birth date. After that, you're simply going to enter your phone number over here and they will send you a verification code. And after verifying your phone number, you would be able to create your OpenAI account. Now after finishing those steps, you can simply create your account and log in into ChatGPT. Now as you can see here right now, this is ChatGPT. As you can see here on the left side, these are my history. As you can see, I have been using ChatGPT for a lot of things. Similar to tabs, you would be able to add a new chat by clicking on this option over here and you could delete specific conversations that you have with ChatGPT by by clicking on the delete icon over here, which is a delete. You could also upgrade to plus over here, which would allow you to use ChatGPT4, which is a better version of, of ChatGPT. There's also settings over here where you can enable dark mode or disable that. You could also export data and you could log out by clicking this button over here. Now in ChatGPT, you can simply go straight up and say, create an essay and then topic and then say, add a citation so that's what we're going to do so we're going to ask create an essay about choose a specific topic that choose a specific topic that you would like ChatGPT to create for you for example i would like ChatGPT to create a topic about health issues that smoking can cause just like that and then i'm going to say add citations now, if you want a specific form of citation, you should add the citation form in here. For example, add citation in APA format, just like that. And then we're going to click on enter. And as you can see, ChatGPT is going to generate a text for us. It's going to generate essays and paragraphs that are taken from the internet. Now, keep in mind that the information that ChatGPT has is limited by the date of September 2021. Any information beyond September 2021 is unavailable to ChatGPT. So be careful with that because it might give you a unupdated version of an information about the topic that you are trying to create an essay about. Unless you provide ChatGPT with the information, for example, a content of a page or a content with information on it. And ChatGPT will create the essay based on that content that you have provided ChatGPT. And as you can see here, it created us a pretty simple essay. We have the introduction over here, the body where it started with firstly, then second, then thirdly, and then it also have a conclusion over here. Now, as you can see, it also provided us a reference which is in APA format. Now, there are multiple ways to effectively create an essay. For example, you should be more detailed with your prompt. Uh, for example, create an essay that is 500 words words long only just like that and you could also add another limitation for example use cherry tone just like that and then you could say the topic that you would like ChatGPT to create a topic out of for example we're going to go with benefits of cat pets just like that and then you're going to click on enter you could also do the same thing where you say add citations in APA format and as you can see here it's going to provide us 
another essay that is 500 words long and it's going to use a cheery tone. So you could use other tones by simply telling it what tone you would like to have. And just like earlier, it's going to do the same format. It's going to create an introduction and then the body over here. And we're going to wait for it to provide. In some cases, ChatGPT will also provide in conclusion section on other things that you would ask ChatGPT to provide, even though it's not an essay. And as you can see here, we have our very quickly created essay. Now, there are multiple other ways to make your essay creation even better aside from this uh, tip that I told you earlier by simply going over here on a new tab and then we're going to go and search essay prompts for ChatGPT, Reddit, just like that. And as you can see here, we have this option over here. We're simply going to click on ChatGPT prompt genius and these are different prompts that people who have been using ChatGPT have created. Now, people have been creatively using prompt to make ChatGPT be able to produce better essays for you. And we're simply going to look for prompts that we could use. For example, over here, it said best list of ChatGPT, ChatGPT prompt to use. We're going to click this. And we're going to click on this link over here. And over here, we would be able to see the list of ChatGPT prompts. So we're going to look for an essay. As you can see here, there are titles to help you find the specific prompt that you are looking for. For example, here act as an English translator, just like this. So we're going to look for one that is fit for an essay. For example, over here, act as a motivational speaker. We could use this to create an essay for us that uh, for example, we're going to try and create an essay that we would be presenting to people. So we're going to use this prop over here because it will create an essay that will act as a motivational speaker. We're simply going to copy this, just like this, and we're going to go back to our ChatGPT here and we're going to paste a prop. Now we're going to wait for ChatGPT to accept our prop over here and we're going to wait. As you can see here, it's already creating a prompt because it was already given an instruction over here. So we're going to change this prop over here into what we would like it to produce. So we're going to stop generating here. We're going to paste this once again, and then we're going to change this. I need a speech about how people should never give up. We're going to change this. We're going to copy our topic over here. How health issues but smoke can cause about what health issues smoke can cause just select that and then we're going to enter and as you can see here it's going to create an essay using this prompt to improve this version over here as you can see here it's going to start with hello everyone today i want to talk about an issue and it has a motivational tone which is very different from this first one over here that we created which is a very plain essay it is different because this is for a motivational speaker and the other one was for essay. So you should simply look for a better prompt over here until you find one. And you can simply add on the end of the prompt to say add citation just like that. And it's going to generate a citation over for you. And as you can see here, it's creating a citation for us to use when we finish our essay over here just like that. And that's it guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.